Hello. So we are back Monday morning, and we have uh, we have a Lenovo laptop, Lenovo Yoga 500. Okay. The problem with this one, you plug the charger and nothing happened. I mean, it's not charging. It's not coming on. Nothing. Now your main power rail uh, is present. Okay. That's what we check first. And it is 20 volts, you can see on the screen. Now the next uh, thing, you'll see, okay, it is getting something hot. And you'll see a chip here. Yeah, I mean, that chip is mad hot. And next to the chip, you see four MOSFETs. And you see two coils. And you realize that's a power supply, yeah? Let's have a look together. Uh... What is this here? Yeah, and that chip is one two seven five. Uh, let's have a look quickly with a little bit of petrol. Yeah, just a little bit. I check that chip. That chip is mad hot. Let me unplug the charger. Unplug the charger using petrol. Now I'm unplugging the charger. Yeah, plug the charger. You see that chip is mad hot. And, uh, you know, usually when people see something like that, they say, okay, that's great. We have, we found a, 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 a burnt chip, right? <sighs> now, there are some power supplies, like uh, they have short circuit protection, and some power supply, they are working on the best effort, and they don't have a short circuit protection, like this chip. And uh, you really have to look for the data sheet of this chip, yeah? This is the one that's getting hot, and you see two coils here, and you see four MOSFETs, and... Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the schematic. Uh, schematic, desktop... Yeah, that's the, that's the chip, okay? So, you see the input voltage, output, what the chip is doing, built in, 100 milliamps, 5 volts and 3.3 volts power supply, but also, you can see two big power supplies. So you have this one, you have this one, yeah, 5 volts, 3.3, yeah. And then you have two more. Uh, you have two more, yeah. You have VREC 3 and VREC 5. So this 3.3 actually, so the, the, the voltage, the... The voltage for the CO chip, yeah, for the super IO chip, for the startup chip, is not this one, yeah, it's not this 3.3, it's not this one, it's not this big one, this one is for the chipset. For the super IO, you have this one, let me see, VREC 3, you see, 3.3 volts always on, you can see, so this one is always on, and if this this one is shorted, this chip it will be mad hot. Yeah. Keep in mind those power supply, 3.3 and 5 volts, are not on till the moment the laptop will start. But this one from here from the bottom, 3.3 always on. It's always on. And uh, all what can supply is a hundred milliamps. Okay. So let's check together. uh let's get the power supply let's get the power you have the power supply on screen we have like 3.2 volts and let's come with the voltage on the vrec free okay i, I unplug the charger is not charger there let's do it together so i'm coming with the power supply and i believe this one well, let me see Uh, that one, yeah. So this one has to be 3.3 here. All is on. So if you see on the power supply, on the power supply is taking 500 milliamps. You can see. So this truck, yeah, is taking 500 milliamps, not 100 milliamps max. How much the chip can supply? So that's a good reason why this chip is getting hot. Now, why the 3.3, that power rail is taking 500 milliamps? 
when it's supposed to take less than 100 milliamps because there is the starter chip, the CO chip, which is on the other side. This one. So, uh, I have bad news for this, uh, this customer. Well, let's see if we can fix it. You see, that's the reason, probably that's the reason why this laptop died. <clears throat> I haven't cleaned it yet. I said, you know what, let's start the video. Just to understand the problem. Let me find here, yeah? Let me find here. Let's see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find uh, a 3.3 volts power rail, <clears throat> which is going to the Super IO. Uh, most likely here is. Most likely here. Um, let me come with voltage. With 3.3 volts, which I suppose I think is here. Yeah, it's here. So this chip is taking 500 milliamps. No, it's not this one. Sorry. Oh no, this is the multimeter. Let me come with the power supply. Power supply. And it's taking 400 milliamps. So check there. Yeah, one more time. 450 milliamps on this power rail, 500. And even without a thermal camera, we can spot this chip uh, has a problem. Exactly on the middle of the chip has a problem. Now let's try and clean it there. Yeah, let's see if that's the problem. It's a liquid damage spot there. Let's see. This laptop can be fixed by cleaning. We can unshort the seal super IO just by cleaning. I'm curious, same like you, but probably not. Probably this chip is shorted and has to be replaced. And the problem is you cannot just replace it. You have to program the chip and replace it. Uh, we can see here was uh, some liquid damage and most likely that's why the chip died. Yeah, I think we are fine. I think we are fine. Okay, let's dry the area. Yeah, it's clean now. I can see it's clean. Yeah, it is clean. Let's see if we fix the problem. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Let's be sure it's dry. Probably not. Probably still a super, a dead uh, super IO. But. It's clean. You know, it's just uh, just to understand how those things work. Because I seen on uh, on our Discord, usually like every laptop is built like that, and it's there is a three point three volts power supply, and uh, when you have a shorter supply, uh, that chip it will get hot, and people are thinking, okay. That's my problem. That's the problem. With it. Does that dust the chip? Because the chip is getting very hot and the chip is faulty. But actually, it's not. You have a shorted output of that power supply. Okay, let's see. Power supply. And the chip is still taking like 300 and something milliamps. Same story with the chip. Three hundred milliamps. That's interesting. It's not taking five hundred anymore, but the chip is still getting hot. 
I think. Yeah, he's still getting other chip, 250. You can see, you can see here on the middle. Yeah, that chip is that. Even if the current is lower now, probably because I heat up the chip. Two hundred milliamps. It can be, but anyway, it's dead. The chip is dead. Clearly, the chip is dead. Let's come with the original charger. Let's check the voltage together. We have the multimeter on screen. And on the Super IO chip, we have 2.6 volts. You can see. I mean, it's not supposed to be 2.6, it's supposed to be 3.3. 2.6 is not good. 2.5 so this chip is that is shorted <clears throat> i seen that uh, liquid damage uh, spot but even if you clean it you know a shorted chip it's a shorted chip the next step the next step it will be to find a super io see if we can program the super io I did bought a Super IO programmer at home, yeah, I have at home, and uh, try to get this working. Yeah, I can't see any BIOS chip here. Uh, the chip has the BIOS inside, so you cannot just replace the chip, you have to program the chip before. Okay, just a short video, just to show you like a short example how you can be tricked. Yeah, this video is all about how you can be tricked by a very hot chip to believe actually that chip is faulty, but actually the output is shorter. I mean, you can see here the my my chip, yeah, is pushing out how much he can, and he can handle quite good. I mean, three hundred uh, milliamps. I still have two point six volts there. But obviously, this has to take under a hundred milliamps <coughs> when the chip is working, and in the, this chip is just taking like 200, 300, uh, and the chip is off, the, the board is off. Okay, I'll stop now. Probably the next video it will be how we can replace this chip. yeah yeah that's that's good that's good that's good yeah let's wait for the for the chip to arrive we'll try to program the chip ourselves i found a chip programmer a co programmer we'll see if it's working i will test it and i will make a video about this yeah i'll see you on the next one bye